Last but definitely not least, we have our ghost mask. Now, the ghost mask is a process. Uh, you need to do this at night. My recommendation would be to do the prep work that you need to do during the day and then do, do this at the beginning of the night, so 2100. Uh, because you'll see it's a bit of a process. The first thing you need to do is actually clear out Washington Monument. Now, I recommend, along with Washington Monument, clear out the flooded levee because one of the interactions that we need one of the interactions we need to do is right there so it's easier to uh clear this out start the thing fast travel here do an interaction and fast travel back but what you want to do to start it is you're once you've cleared it out you open the supply room you come down and what you will find right on the other side of this is this little blue blue thing with a circle interact with it and it'll show you um, three additional uh, orange circles uh, right up there. Now, the first orange circle is where we will be heading to now. So we wanna go to Flood Levy if we did clear it out. Because now we need to salute three graves. Note, this also needs to be done at nighttime, which is why I'm saying start at the, pretty much the beginning of nighttime. Supply room access. Once you spawn in, I want to pop out you are going to want to take a right as soon as you get outside the door uh and not get stuck on fuel cans hopefully but you're going to want to take a right and then just keep following uh this like kind of wall i don't know it's weird to say but this like kind of wall till you get to this tree once you get to this tree you will find the grave right over there right behind it what you're going to want to do is stand on top of the grave hit h once again, uh, hit G, go down to salute, and you want to salute the grave. Now, if it worked, your map and everything will go this, like, kind of fuzzy pixelated. Uh, then you know this one has been done correctly. Next up, what you want to do is you want to head back to Washington Monument. And what you want to do from here, open your map. And you'll see this little like road down here, two roads where they intersect. You're going to want to go decently close and you'll see that it kind of has a, a kink in it. You're going to want to place a fast travel marker on that kink specifically. Uh, just head out the door and head directly for uh, your marker. Once you reach it, you should just be able to turn directly to your right and see the grave, your next grave right over here. Same deal, H. Uh, hello? Hold H, hit G, and then hit salute. Go ahead, salute this grave. Same story, it's going to be kind of fuzzy. Now, the next one we're going to run. Uh, because the fast travel, the time it takes to fast travel versus the time it takes to run is about the same. We are going to want to go to the this right hand corner. And you'll see there is a walkway of wood. We're going to want to run past it. And at night time, it's very obvious. That light right over there, the sun, it looks like the sun is literally coming up in the middle of the night time. So what we're going to want to do is head over to this light. At this light, you'll see there's a little, like, bit of smoke fire over there. Head over to it, and right by it, you will find your final uh, gravesite, which, once again, hit H, H, G, and go ahead to salute. Uh, and the fuzziness will happen. Then, you can choose, you can fast travel if you want. You don't need to. Uh, you just want to go back to Washington Monument. If you do have... A fast PC where your load times are instant or you're running off of an SSD. Fast traveling might be worth it. But what you're going to want to do is head right back down. And interact with that same interactable button uh, that you did to start this thing. Now, so yeah, just head over there, interact with it. Then finally, you want to head back up. And once you do, once you get to the top, you should see a orange circle on the ground right outside this door all you need to do is run into it and as soon as you run into it the hunter will spawn right over there killing 
him nets you your final ivory key and as well as the final mask for dc or the dc masks uh if you did enjoy i hope you did enjoy and i hope it was at least helpful uh thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time